miles, but it all true. I'd like to know your point of view. Hi everyone, welcome to Evening TV. I'm Evening Ransom. I have a uh, playlist on my channel about the narcissism glossary, and a few words I hadn't put on the list yet. And one of them is baiting. Baiting is it's a form of manipulation where they will needle you in private. Do something crazy making. They'll gaslight you, they'll needle you, they'll say, you know, they'll project onto you, they'll insult you, they'll criticize you, they'll accuse you where, where no one's looking. And then they'll set you up so that you publicly react. And so that they can then say, see what I'm dealing with? See, see what she's like? And if you're in a court situation, a divorce situation, this can be really ugly. In a divorce situation, most likely you've been dealing with abuse like this for a long time. And especially if you don't know what's going on. The good news about all this stuff getting a lot more public is that people are figuring out what this is. You know, people are figuring out what this is while they're still in it and can still do something about it. I did not know anything about any of this until after my life had been destroyed until after my life. And this is even true even though my husband had a diagnosis. We, he had a written diagnosis and I ignored it. And so when the whole marriage was over and my life was absolutely in shambles, that was where I started. I went, well, I have nothing else to, I don't have any idea what's happened. My life is just completely wrecked. So I went to that diagnosis and that's where I started. And I, I looked at that and I opened it up and I read it and I was like, it was my life. It was basically what had happened to me in black and white. And it was a thing. This happened to other people. Someone knows about this. And it was, it was at once validating and also kind of heartbreaking because, you know, had I known, I could have done something. Yeah, you know, so when, this, when this happened to me, it was like 15 years ago, I was looking for information and, uh, and you go to a therapist, they didn't know anything about it. And it was, it was much, much harder to find out about it. The good news is that people do know about it. And there's several, you know, really great YouTube channels. And the number of YouTube channels talking about it has just exploded. So uh, what it tells you is this is a lot more common than you think. Now, here's the thing, and it's interesting about that. It does seem a lot more common than, you know, you'd ever think. I thought I was the only person that's ever happened to, and I was blaming myself and all that. But what's interesting, I don't know how it's true for you, maybe say some in the comments. I still, other than clients, other than people that come to me with this problem, but I've never known anyone in my personal life who's, who's experienced it and, and goes, oh gosh, me too, or oh, I suspected that was what's happening, or, you know, it's never happened. It's very, very interesting. And as far as my whole devalue and discard thing went, it was totally complete. I mean, there was no one left when, when it was all over. And so, you know, not, it, not a single person went, oh, you know, I think that looks weird. I, you know, no one, it, you know, that looks familiar like what happened to me. Anyway, yeah, no so way. what baiting is, is where they are going to bait you into basically acting crazy, reacting in a, in a, in a way that is not flattering to you, makes you look really bad. They may pretend that you guys are on the same side against some other common enemy and they may put you in the role of the protector and then ask you to do something to protect them, defend them, that makes you look really bad. Or they will, you know, set you up to have a public downfall, a public disgrace. They can get you to feel desperate, if they can get you to have a breakdown, you know, anything like that, that's what they really like. If they can get you to, you know, cry, be upset, react angrily, that's all narcissistic supply to them. And they have, they really just don't care anything about what your real feelings are. They want, they want to destroy you. They want to see you upset. They want to see you publicly humiliated. And mostly they want to win. They want to look like the good guy. They want to look like they are the victim and you are the problem. And like I said, if you get into a divorce situation, it can be so crazy making because you will be really upset. You'll be going through this for a long time. Your life is falling apart. You're worried about your kids. You're heartbroken. You're worried. They're, you know, you're, they cut you off from money. They're doing all kinds of crazy things. And you're gonna be completely distraught. And they will come into court acting so calm after completely calm, not even, you know, they're busy yelling at you in private, but here they're just calm, talk softly, you know, completely under control. And the court is going to see you as the problem. They're gonna see you as the one who's hysterical or whatever, because you, you basically are, you, you know, you are not doing very well. 
and you're gonna look like the problem. If anyone had understood what was going on with me or the court recognized it or anything like that, it would have been a lot better, but I just had nobody and I had no idea what was happening. And really bad things were happening. And they want you to get upset, they want you to cry and yell and all that and they'll gaslight you and tell you that things didn't happen, that they never said that, or you're overreacting, and that leaves them feeling superior. You know, so they can do this whole thing where they devalue you, they gaslight you, they you know, do terrible things. You react and they can go, oh, you know, you seem really upset. You seem like you're having a really hard time. And yeah, I get to them help. You know, they'll do all that. So they'll push you, push you, push you till you have a reaction and nothing is sacred. Nothing is sacred. They will go anywhere. They will go to all the things that you just should never go there. They will use the secret things you've told them, the, your most deepest wounds. They, that's what they'll use. They'll just use the notion of blackmail. And they love, they push you to a breakdown. They want to push you to a breakdown. And that makes them very happy. But if you don't have a full on breakdown, which I did in fact, but if you don't have a full on breakdown, they'll, you'll just kind of fall apart or snap publicly or something like that. And, and you'll look bad. The other flip side is you'll also withdraw and you'll isolate. And so they get all kinds of chances to go in there and manage perceptions, which they're experts at. Another thing they'll do is they'll just do what your divorce is they'll just bring on uh, frivolous court cases. Then you have no option but to get a lawyer and go defend yourself. And it's just, they just love all the drama. They love all the narc supply. They, you know, they just, they don't need positive emotions. Negative attention is just fine. If they can get you to be upset, to snap, beg them for, to stop, anything like that. Or they can get the kids. This is another thing that what happened is my kids were falling apart and that was also narc supply. Love that. They can look to everyone else. They look like a really nice guy and you look like the problem and that's what they'll do. So it of course is much easier not to get sucked into baiting if you understand what's happening. And so that's, that's a real trick. All of these, all of these uh, videos and these that everyone's talking about really break down to a whole different thing if you know what's happening versus don't know what's happening. But if, Fortunately, now it's out there enough that it's a lot easier to stumble across the information than it used to be.